So, next up we have uh, Eric James. I assume this is Eric James. Yeah. It's <laughs> not always what's on the screen. There you go. So, um, yeah, Eric is from. Where are you from? From Yale uh, University Libraries. Yale, of course you are. I guess I can see that. Right. Okay, so um, you ready? Yeah. Right, and we'll get you going then in five. <laughs> go. Right, you're off. Um, my name is Eric James, from the University Library. I'm um, giving a talk that was really submitted as a uh, Somerset collection of Slavic books and decided to focus a little more on Indra's engine and some of the interesting points of that. Um, let's go. Um, this is um, from the project of Neil, which um, is a <coughs> which is an aggregation of Middle Eastern literature. Um, here is the front portal page. Um, the second point I'm just trying to get out is that um, there is basically a bunch of stage materials, um, digitized OCR, put into a directory structure, and that structure was ingested into that structure as you see on the um, browse page. Um, once you get to the browse page, you can actually get to actual content. This is a page of this content, you can see there's a manuscript page, which is a JPEG 2000 um, certified it. Took a, a server, um, you can see there's a metadata on one side and navigation and all kinds of uh, pagination, um, typical of any kind of um, page turner. Um, so um, that, that was one direction we were coming from. Um, this is the Neil project. Um, it's a loose federation of about 20 scripts, um, Unix scripts. Um, <coughs> With a with a bash shell that um, wraps around a uh, Java media shell client, um, which does ingest. Um, so the Jill Sumner Smith collection again took the best of these of the new project and the preservation model and uh, created this new ingest system. Um, the ingest system is pretty pretty big. We have uh, five thousand volumes, two million objects. Um, we started in January. Um, we're currently on batch ten of twelve. Um, and the normal operator team is basically just, you know, kick off a batch, let it go, monitor it, um, come back 12 days later, eventually there'll be a few errors, do a few cleanups, but it's a pretty similar system. Um, moving forward, um, we actually try to improve on this system for future um, cases. Um, we move some of the configuration out. Sorry. Move some of the configuration out into an XML file and just left the tracking to the database. And in this case that we tested with that JSS test case, we're also moving forward into the Ladybird collection. Um, this is an example of the configuration of the Ladybird collection. Um, go through, you can configure repository and number of repositories, handles, um, what server it's going to. Um, the workflow is uh, modular and component-wise, and you can configure that there. Um, this is just a indication of what a lady bag looks like, ladybird bag looks like um, for one of the use cases with a specific image. We have a uh, TIFF, which is the, the payload content, <coughs> which is the mods generated by the ladybird tool. Um, the others are um, some boilerplate um, bag it um, specifications. Um, this is an example of one of the, uh, <coughs> what it looks like in the tracking database um, for each uh, item going into um, the, the repository. Um, there's this, this record um, that shows what repository it's going to, which steps it's gone through in the ingest process, and um, creates timestamps. Um, once it gets ingested into the repository, it becomes uh, basically a Fedora object. I um, <coughs> you know, um, with this page on um, that shows the PID, it shows the object ladle for uh, tracking and making sure there's no redundancies as the content model. Um, it's basically that. And um, this, this is now done into the data streams. Um, we have a DC um, derived from the mods, which are later created. We have the TIFF, which is the original image ingested. We have the JPEG um, derived from that, the typical RELS X, and a METS document um, describing the whole thing um, for use with long term preservation. Um, this is an example of the METS document. Um, basically, there's a descriptive metadata, the mods of DC. Um, one of the index workflows components um, actually creates a bunch of premise. Um, statements um, that are put here in Digiprod. They're basically events like the uh, ingest or the transformation of the tip to the JPEG, some writes and other things. This is an example of one of um, the premise statements. 
Um, this one is uh, tracking the transform of the TIFF image to the JPEG um, using the Java Advanced Imaging Archive Library. <coughs> you can see how it links to the agent. The agent is the workflow system itself. Um, and hopefully this will all get aggregated later and be used for a more uh, bigger preservation system. Um, in the later use case, um, <coughs> basically this would be configured is to have um, different like drop boxes for each type of content model and each type of configuration. So a simple image will go in one place that's configured, that sent to the right place, mm -hmm. a compact image will be treated a little differently, configured a little differently, but basically do the same thing. Um, so further develop developments are to, to use a system and, and, you, and, and make it for all workflows in the library. There are several of them. Um, we'll continue to uh, refine the configuration. Um, there are some trade-offs in uh, how how much should be um, configured, how much should be hard coded. Um, <laughs> this um, change of gears, I just want to, another thing I just want to um, preview is, is part of the JSS collection and interface um, using a <coughs> system where we're using group, group by. So instead, so you have like a, <coughs> excuse me, um, a journal of pages and each journal is aggregated as a journal. And then once you get these hits, then it drills in, uses the full text, and you can see the pages in each of them. <coughs> um, so this is an example of once you get to one of the pages, and again, similar to a meal, um, um, this time we're actually also displaying the <coughs> And then this is an example of um, what it looks like from the volume level. Again, there's the uh, hierarchy, which is um, expressed in the relative relationship. So you can, again, you can see the issue, you can see the pages in, or you can go up to a higher level and see the volume. This is all done through um, solar and um, <coughs> XML parsing and, and aggregating. Thanks very much, Eric. Does anyone have any, uh, any immediate questions for Eric?